When installing a professional alarm security system, the worst thing that can happen is you finish the installation, you try the products, and they don't work. And when we're talking about wireless, it's all about the signal. So how to properly calculate the communication radio signal from your device to your hub. And that's what we're gonna see today. So some tools that you can find on professional alarm systems to calculate this distance range and save you time during the installation. Let's get to it. So today we're gonna look at the Ajax range calculator tool that you can find on their website. So ajax.systems under support. And we will put the, look, the, the link on the description so it will be easy for you to find. This uh, goes for pretty much every professional alarm system. So again, on their website, you should be able to find a tool to calculate this. And it's all about saving time. So again, you can bring the product outside and calculate it with the app. That's one thing we're gonna show. But first off, the tool itself. So it's a great and easy tool to use, nothing complicated. It's right to the point. You choose a device. I normally suggest to use it for outdoor applications. So for example, here we have a uh, motion protect outdoor. And since we're outside the, the premise, you have a lot of walls to cover. So this can affect the range signal of your communication device. So if we go into the device model, we will take the motion cam outdoor PHOD. So the photo on demand, because again, photo on demand, it takes picture at your will. So it's good to be sure that you have a, a good signal string to be able to process that action. Then you calculate the distance between the hub and your product. If you don't know how to do this specifically, uh, you have a small tool right there on the, website, on the website, how to measure distance. And then you have a little step-by-step -step on how to properly calculate that distance. Now, when this is done, you can choose the obstacle from the list. My mistake, you have to enter in meters before the distance. So let's say we're talking about 40 meters. Then you choose the obstacle from the list. Again, it depends on where you are. For example, here we are in a recently built building. So it mostly concretes walls. So I will select concrete here. And the average thickness is about 15 centimeters which is uh, six inches if you are in the US. Um, so I will write 150 millimeters. And as you can see right away, I see that I have a reliable communication. So if I have one wall of concrete, my signal strength would be optimal. Now I will add another wall for testing purposes. Let's say there's a wooden wall and same thing, right? 150. Now. As you can see, I just lost a bar for my communication. So it's not optimal to put my motion cam outdoor behind those two walls with that thickness specifically. And just for testing purposes, I, I will add another concrete wall, 150, and boom, you have it. So no connection. So now, as you can see, we have no connection when we added that third wall. But it's no need to worry. It's okay because some premises are bigger than others and alarm professional systems have solutions. And for Ajax is their range extender called the Rex. So you have the Rex and the Rex 2 that can act. So if you go down, you have this small graphic here that will show you the hub and the communication that is blocked because of the walls and your device itself. And right underneath, when it's blocked, well, they recommend, to, they recommend you to use their range, in, range extender. And that is something that every alarm system have. So you put that range extender near your device and it will help the hub communicate to a longer distance. So again, it's not the end of the world if you feel that my hub is at one end of the house and I have a motion cam at the other end you can use a range extender in between to make sure that the communication goes through well. Another small trick that you can have is if your hub is connected and you already enroll all your device, you can go directly on the application. So you would go on your Ajax app. So let's say we're gonna look at the leaks protect here. That would normally go maybe in a bathroom that is in the basement or a place that is behind a lot of walls or even floors. 
So you would click on the Leaks Protect itself. Here, since it's right next to the hub, you can see right away that ju the jeweler signal strength is optimal. But if you want to test, you click on the cogwheel and you do jeweler signal strength test. Here, it gives you a 10 minute range to test it out. But normally in 15 to 30 seconds, you have a good idea if the signal strength is good. So you click on start and you let it roll. You know it's working when your product, so the Leaks Protect, will start flashing with a green light. That means that it's testing um, the connection between the two. And the way it works is it sends a signal. So the jeweler, the, uh, it's a radio communication signal. So you can see like a, a dot between the two that goes back out and it sends a ping to, to see if it's properly communicating between each other. So as you can see now it's starting flashing and we see on the application that we have a great signal strength. So it's a small trick. You can bring your device outside, test it out with the application, and then you will see if it will work properly when it is installed outdoor, let's say. So if you find this little trick interesting and you'd like to know more, well, subscribe to our channel. We try to give out helpful content each week about professional security system. That was one example that you can find on ajax.systems, but every professional alarm systems, again, have these tools on and on their website. Again, guys, comment below if you like what you see, if you have some experience using radio communication device and you have some story you'd like to share, and we'll see each other on the next one.